studio with uh, Cisco at ID Tech X here in the U.S. And uh, who are you? I am Anne Sophie Dory, and uh, we sell this uh, Cisco rotary die cutting equipment. So it's uh, die cutting laminating. So what you're seeing here, we're showing for the show, is I will show you a little finished product before I explain. We're showing a little label, if I can get it out. Simple label here. So this is a, what kind of label, what does it do? Um, so what we're showing is more on the back and it might be hard to, find, to see. It's a little yeah. fake RFID tag. So it's RFID printer. It is not printing. We're actually, you will see here what we're doing. We'll start here at the beginning. We're starting from a printed roll. So there are no printing done on our machine, but okay. we start from a printed roll. We will laminate on top of the label. And then thanks to registration marks, the, our CCD cameras will be cutting and placing that R fake RFID tag coming from here on already a liner will transfer that tag onto the label. Very precisely every time Very it exactly. precisely, thanks to the CCD camera, we can achieve precision up to 0 0.01 millimeter. Is it possible to see, how, see it in the world? Of it, course, in, uh, of course. Joe, would you mind turning yes. on the machine, please? So, how do you turn it on? Uh, right here, auto run. Auto run? Yeah. Then it needs to heat up or it's No, no, no. And obviously you will think the speed is very slow, but this is trade show mode speed. <laughs> so it can yeah. run a lot faster. So here is the lamination part. And you will see here that it's placing, it's already taking this label. It's taking it out of its original liner. Yeah. There you go. And it's gonna place it onto the printed roll that we had. All right. And then the CCD cameras that you hear, that you see, sorry, throughout the process will be constantly checking the positioning, the positioning of the label and the machine will auto adjust to make sure it stays within tolerance. So uh, do you have already many customers for this? Uh, we do. We do have uh, Cisco has sold almost 400 of those machines throughout the world. Exactly like this big one. Uh, actually, bigger. Bigger. Also, this can be. So this is a seven-station machine. We have five, seven, ten, or even up to 20, depending on the customer's application and process. So uh, I think ID TechX was saying there's 12 billion RFID tags shipped every year. Does okay. that mean there's a big part of them that are made with your machines or? Uh, some of it, uh, just because the process of RFID, we do not print or make the RFID. So as long as we come in afterwards, as long as we get the printed material and the RFID tags on a roll, then we can look into converting on our equipment. And uh, what's going to happen in the future? Is there more and more technologies and stuff you can do? Uh, more and more technologies and more and more material. So we're constantly innovating. So here you can see in the middle, we are also able to integrate a laser station. It is not functioning today in our process, but this is a CO2 laser machine for more flexibility depending on the type of cuts and the materials that are coming out. So we're able to cut either with dye or with different type of laser, either fiber or CO2, even some copper, aluminum, that could be used also in flexible circuits. And we see right here. And this part is the die cutting. It's moving. Those two here are dies, where it's actually doing the rectangle cut. And same things, the camera is going to be checking the actual cut and length of the part. And then, for right now, it's coming out in that little bin. But you can imagine a conveyor or even rewinding your products. Is, uh, is your company a French? The company, the machines are actually made in Taiwan. And we're representing Cisco in the U.S. and in Europe, based out of France, France. and in the U.S. based out of North Carolina. All right. So what do you think about ID Tech X in this? Uh, we're really happy. So this is the first time that we exhibit, and we, we're really, really happy. It has driven a lot of people, a lot of good quality leads. So now, with a little time and follow-up, we'll know if it was actually very successful.